this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So in the previous video, we have seen about the what I can say about the attribute directors, and we have created uh, our custom attribute director, right? Now what we will try to do is now we will go into the next type of directors that is nothing but structural directive. Okay, before knowing about this, uh, before creating our own structural directive, let's see how the structural directives will work. So for example, if I go here and if I go to users component HTML and here let's let's see here i will try to write one one variable i will try to create one variable so something like is available or any variable okay which is of type boolean is sorry is available okay which is of type boolean okay which is of type boolean and by default i will keep it as true okay so is boolean now what i will try to write, write is here i will take one div and here show the div when is available is available is true okay now i will write ng if condition means i need to write with star ng if is equal to so the the boolean condition i need to represent so okay so now this is the this is the uh, this is the uh, condition how we can write the ng if condition in in the angular now if i try to check the output here now we are able to get the show uh, this one now we are able to get the output here okay fine so now we are getting the output now so whenever we see the directives before this one as a star that means we can tell it this one as a structural directive okay so there is no uh, one thing what i can say is there is no directive such that which could be represented with the star so if you are representing with the star means so this is one type of other other shorthand notation of the directives okay so you'll be having all the directives which could be represented like this only okay so for this one which is changing the element means so that means for that reason we have written we have writing star in front of this one so star means nothing but what i can say is it it manipulates the dom okay so this star ngf we can write as a as an attribute directive also so ngf ng we can write this one as an attribute directive rotation also so that means nothing but something like square bracket like this also we can represent this one so how we can represent this one so how we can represent is for example if you go here so whenever you represent this star like this means so automatically at the back end what it will happen is it will try to create an ng template okay so ng template and it will try to take all this div okay it will try to keep this all the thing in the ng in the div okay in this ng template so so now if you are representing star ng if like this means in the back end it will convert it into like this okay so you need to remember this one so it will keep ng template before and after the div whatever the data you have written in the star ng if condition it will be converted into like this and now how we can read the ng if ng if how we can write is you can write simply with the like like an attribute directive okay so is available okay you can write like this also so now if i check the output here if you see i will get both the things okay so this one is represented using star ng if and this one is how the back end will be written so how the back end it will be converted star ng if i have written like this now if you go here and if you change this one user component.ts and if i change it to false so now if i change it to false this one now if you see here sorry if i see here the output will be both the things has gone away see so that means so you need to remember that the structural directive is nothing but how it will be converted is it will be converted in the back end the angular like this so like with this one we we will be able to know that there will be no star notation something like that uh, this type of directives so star directives type of notations will not be available so star ng if you, if you are seeing any any like this type of directives means automatically this type of directives is converted into this type of behavior okay you need to remember this one so this is the internally how the structural directive will be converting the template into ng template this is the thing we need to know okay so this is about the uh, internal concept of the ng if how uh, st structural directive how it will work so next we will try to create our own structural data how we can represent our own structural directive in the next video so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you